But first, key American allies agreeing to help fight the ISIS threat spreading across Iraq and Syria. President Obama returning from a NATO summit in Wales yesterday, vowing to destroy the terror group, saying a coalition of countries will be better able to launch an offensive against the militants. U.S. Central Command carrying out more airstrikes in northern Iraq today, as we hear reports that the president will meet with House and Senate leaders this week to discuss what the next steps will be in this global battle. Our Leland Vitter joins us live now from Washington with more details on this. Leland, what else? Well, Kelly, good afternoon. It's still unclear what those steps might be. Remember, it took three press conferences and at least a couple of weeks for the president to articulate even a clear strategy for dealing with ISIS. And yesterday, just before he left the NATO summit, he finally stayed on message. You can't contain an organization that is running roughshod through that much territory, uh, causing that much havoc, displacing that many people. Uh, killing that many innocents, enslaving that many women. Uh, the goal has to be uh, to dismantle them. Republicans remain unconvinced, saying that while the president has defined a mission, they point to a lack of plan as further evidence that the White House is bungling the response to ISIS and allowing the terrorist group to grow into a terrorist state. The fact that we have let this go, and especially over the last seven, eight months, as we've watched these columns of ISIS fighters travel city by city and have not hit them by the air, this is irresponsible. Now, we have learned that President Obama will meet with top congressional leaders at the White House on Tuesday. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell issued a statement about the meeting, saying in part, it has become clear that the president's plan, as outlined in his West Point speech, to train and equip the militaries of partner nations as the United States draws down its conventional forces across the globe, is not tenable. It continues. The threat from ISIL is real and it's growing and it is time for President Obama to exercise some leadership in launching a response. Now the big question is what is that response and whether that meeting is a prelude for asking congressional approval for further and larger military campaigns against ISIS, perhaps some kind of military campaign inside Syria, or simply to justify the current policy by the president and his staff is yet to be seen. Kelly? A lot of questions going forward. Leland Vitter, thank you.